A night level metric used to measure aircraft noise pollution. May of 2018, FAA said it's really close. Uh, and since that time, it's been delayed 22 months. We have heard from multiple sources that it was delayed because of uh, methodology issues. Uh, is that true? Is the study close? Were there issues with how it was conducted? Um, so thanks for the question. The DNL currently, as, as, as you know, is the only metric that we have that takes into account all of the criteria in terms of uh, measuring the impact uh, of, of noise uh, on our communities. And uh, we, are, we continue to do research on what other uh, methodology, methodologies would capture uh, time and place uh, and, and, uh, and duration uh, as well. And uh, so far there hasn't been anything that has, uh, that has replicated that. If you're referring to the noise annoyance study, um, which is that that is due out in October, and uh, and we expect to meet that meet that deadline. Were you aware of any problems with the methodology in the study? I'm not personally aware. Could you uh, find I'm, out and let this committee know? Absolutely. Ask him. Uh, I, I have problems with the word annoyance because, as you know, these public health studies are talking about far more than annoyance. They're talking about real public health risk. And I certainly appreciate that. And I hope we're talking about the same study. Uh, second, this past summer, the FAA worked with uh, local authorities in New York to adjust flight patterns and procedures to help limit noise around JFK. But in a letter to the Congressional Quiet Skies Caucus, the Administrator Dixon, uh, you stated that uh, FAA's review process for these changes has been, quote, irregular. Uh, and had serious flaws in it, including not consulting with the JFK Tower. Obviously, those are big red flags, and it's good that they were caught, but why is it that internal communication at the FAA let this happen, that the aging agency can agree to significant changes in flight operations and then go back on it, really on what it said it was going to do, when it realizes its own internal procedures were violated? Well, it's a great question. Thanks for the opportunity to respond. Um, it's really important that when we look at noise issues that we realize that it's an entire community issue and we want to make sure that the entire community uh, is engaged and that we're not just moving noise arbitrarily between uh, one community and an adjacent uh, uh, community, for example. Uh, this inquiry was made uh, to the uh, approach control, uh, which, did not, which did not consult with the tower. This is why it's really important as I mentioned to uh, Congressman diaz Ballart, that we work through the regional administrator to make sure that we can bring, uh, bring these issues forward and have them addressed uh, on a holistic basis rather than just to, uh, 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 to solve uh, one issue. I will say that the altitude um, uh, request uh, for uh, operating above 3,000 feet um, on the uh, on the arrivals, that actually was executed and was part of my response um, to the uh, inquiry from the caucus. Is it, sir, is it safe to say that the the problems that took place here won't be replicated? That working in around O'Hare and other airports, we're not going to have these same issues. Uh, we will not, as long as we are able to understand that the appropriate point, uh, the appropriate place uh, for us to engage. Uh, with you and your staffs is through the regional administrator, then we'll be able to make sure that process is appropriately managed. Sure, my, my uh, friend and colleague, Mr. Swazi, is interested, as his constituents are, as to uh, this correction has been made uh, as to how it was moved forward. Uh, now how long will they might have, might they have to wait to uh, find out what, if any, other corrective measures can be taken to adjust to the noise? Uh, well, as I said, the altitude portion uh, we have uh, has already been addressed. Uh, the runway usage, uh, again, that's something that we would have to work through uh, the New York Roundtable uh, to make sure that we're not um, Is that process changing. going on? We can report back to uh, the, the congressman that it's, uh, it's being worked on soon? Yes. Thank you. Mr. Administrator, I want to return to um, the safety lesson.